The Environmental Protection Agency's AirNow program provides daily air quality index or AQI maps for the entire U.S. To generate AQI maps, EPA relies on hourly reporting of ground-based measurements of pollutants, including fine particles or PM2.5. However, large gaps in the ground-based observation network exist. Through a collaboration with NASA, NOAA, Dalhousie University, and Sonoma Technology, EPA created the AirNow Satellite Data Processor, or ASDP. The ASDP fuses ground-based measurements of near-surface PM2.5 concentrations from EPA's AirNow network with estimates derived from NASA's satellite measurements. This fuse product provides more accurate and spatially complete estimates of PM2.5 concentrations across the U.S. This video gives an overview of the ASDP methodology for using aerosol optical depth, or AOD measurements, from NASA satellite instruments to estimate ground-level PM2.5 concentrations. Satellite-based measurements of AOD provide data on total aerosols throughout an atmospheric column. However, to estimate the concentration of aerosols near the ground, a conversion factor of AOD to PM2.5 is required, represented here by eta. Eta is a function of aerosol size, aerosol type, diurnal variation, relative humidity, and the vertical structure of aerosol extinction. Furthermore, the value of eta varies in time and space due to changing emissions and meteorology that impact the vertical profile and scattering properties within the aerosol column. Therefore, local, seasonally varying conversion factors are necessary to infer estimates of PM2.5 concentrations on a continental scale. Scientists at Dalhousie University, EPA, and NASA have developed a method for estimating surface PM2.5 concentrations using satellite-measured AOD and a three-dimensional chemical transport model called GeosChem. GeosChem models time and space varying aerosol and gaseous compounds using meteorological data sets, emissions inventories, and equations that represent atmospheric physics and chemistry. GeosChem models both ground-level PM2.5 concentrations and column-integrated AOD. The model is used to calculate the AOD to PM2.5 conversion factor, eta, for every location across the U.S. These eta values are then applied to satellite observations of AOD to generate satellite-based estimates of ground-level PM2.5 concentrations. The daily surface PM2.5 concentration estimates and their uncertainties are calculated using near real-time moderate resolution imaging spectroradiometer or MODIS AOD data products from the Terra and Aqua satellites. This calculation is performed as part of IDEA, or infusing satellite data into environmental applications. IDEA is maintained by NOAA's Center for Satellite Applications and Research, which is part of the National Environmental Satellite Data and Information Service. How accurate are the satellite estimates of ground-level PM2.5 concentrations? The satellite estimates, averaged over a six-year period, correlate well with ground measurements. However, the satellite-derived values were generally higher than the ground measurement values. Using three years of satellite estimates and ground measurements, an average daily error is calculated at each ground monitor site. One way to express this error is to report one sigma error, which represents the error that would contain 68% of the actual values. This map shows the initial one sigma error at each ground monitor site, before applying two new algorithms. The average one sigma error across all locations was one microgram per cubic meter, plus 67% of the estimated PM2.5 concentration. For example, the error associated with a satellite estimated PM2.5 concentration of 10 micrograms per cubic meter is expected to be below 1 microgram per cubic meter plus 67% of 10 micrograms per cubic meter, yielding a 1 sigma value of 7.7 .7 micrograms per cubic meter. The absolute error of 1 microgram per cubic meter is included to avoid unrealistically low error value estimates in regions with low PM2.5 concentration estimates. The accuracy of satellite-derived PM2.5 concentrations could be improved by doing two things. First, a seasonal bias correction was applied to satellite estimates using nationwide ground observations over a running 90-day window. Applying a bias correction reduced the three-year average one sigma error from one microgram per cubic meter plus 67% to one microgram per cubic meter plus 54%. Compare the one sigma error map shown previously 
with the error map following bias correction. The bias in the eastern U.S. was particularly reduced. However, where in-situ monitoring is sparse, across the northern Great Lakes and portions of the western U.S., for example, biases remained high. Second, spatial smoothing was applied to reduce random errors in the satellite-derived PM2.5 values. This smoothing further reduced the average error to 1 microgram per cubic meter, plus 42%. Notice the improvement over the bias-corrected satellite estimates, especially in the eastern U.S. Reducing average error is critical to producing an accurate satellite product. However, reliable estimates of error, in both satellite estimates and ground measurements, also allow the ASDP to determine how heavily to weight the satellite estimates relative to ground measurements. The ASDP fuses the bias-corrected smooth satellite estimates of PM2.5 concentrations with ground measurements to yield a more spatially complete estimate of PM2.5 concentrations nationwide. For more information on the ASDP system, please visit asdp.aeronautech.org.